live at the command center of the JW Solar USA. Guys, I just want to give you an update. And uh, almost uh, two weeks, a week and a half, uh, we haven't got no sun. He's just battling with all the bad weather. And I think he's uh, hitting everyone across the YouTube land. And a lot of people have been talking about their systems how they have to recharge that's why you can't get rid of the grid or if you want to really cut the wire or you're totally off grid you need a generator or something a backup or wind generator or something that or maybe um hydro any source of uh a renewable energy or solar or any source of fuels um fossil fuel and you want to use to charge your batteries because we want the sun or we need the sun and not all the time we have it and people with wind turbines is the same thing not all the time is uh uh um christmas or new year or whatever happy day but this is what we have to deal with as human beings so we tend to um you know bounce back and forth so Tap into the grip a little bit and uh, charge your batteries. And uh, this has been going till we got um, four and a half hours of sun today in different location in Minnesota here. Um, so guys, this is the project I'm trying to talk about. We are back into it. And uh, you guys seen on previous videos, I've been talking about the upgrade that you guys have seen, the inverters, you guys have seen some other gears so right there this guy here is going to be having a makeover all right so we had a second inverter uh which is um magnosine magnum energy 4024 pae so it's going to be incorporated with that the other one right there they're going to work side by side and we're gonna be end up with uh, eight kilowatt, kilo eight kilowatt hours on that inverter, on this setup here on the Magnum. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna tear up this entire board, and uh, but I'm gonna do uh, one step at a time because I don't wanna take everything down because I'm gonna be without power. So what I'm gonna do, I think I can just shut down the outback. And try to expand because the outback where I'm shutting the outback I have to get um, get rid of that box right there the command center right there is going out so that I can add another uh, plate or back plate there to carry the two inverters but this is what I'm trying to do I'm trying to improvise so I don't want to buy the other plate the back plate, which is for the dual magnum inverters, um, I'm gonna end up with two back plates of this magnum here because I have one I showed you on my 12 volt system and I just trying to utilize it's brand new and I have this one now, so it's gonna be useless. You know, I have um, another um, uh, hood which is very important up there, so I'm gonna use that for the second inverter. So what I want to do, I want to um, 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 improvise. I haven't seen anyone with that setup yet. Maybe I didn't look quite well. But this setup right here for the Magnum, for the uh, single uh, inverter, is going to be a dual now. I'm going to have another back plate that I think I'm going to put over there, or I'm going to add it here. I'm going to take that charge controller off, the PT100 off, and move this guy magnum to this command center the center of this uh thing by the um lightning arrestor so that lightning arrestor box everything that there is going to be going bye bye and move this entire stuff to the center and creating another opening for a back plate of that size this length right here this width so it's going to be right now all the way here and we are almost to we are almost on the uh, the brim of the uh, the board, so I'm gonna move these guys over there, 
and uh, disconnect the outback. That's the reason I have to disconnect the outback because it's all powered in that box. And uh, this is the um, AC um, um, breaker or distribution panel. So what I'm gonna do, move this guy over there and slap another back plate on this side here because I wanna do that, I don't wanna disturb or interrupt those lightning arrestors already um, um, incorporated because I already punched the holes on the knockout. And this side, they're gonna stay here. The Magnusign PT100 power track is gonna go on the other plate, the back plate that I'm gonna incorporate. It's gonna be underneath it. So it's gonna be having a permanent structure. And the other inverter is gonna be sitting side by side like this gap right here. That blank after this one is already moved over there. It's going to be sitting right there where this one is sitting right now. So I can have two um, inverters there. And um, they're going to be going on the other box. So this is the other thing again I'm going to be facing here, guys. I'm trying to improvise. I don't want to buy this uh, load center anymore. I had one. But this the way this one is designed is for single... It's for single setup, you know, for single inverter. It's not made for dual uh, uh, setup here. So because of that, I'm going to be facing uh, some kind of a little bit work. And uh, if you look at the other ones, they have for the dual, you can see, you can able to put two breakers here. And because of that, this one is made for only a single then I'm trying to, um, I'm going to try and in incorporate something that's going to be working with this guy because I don't want to buy another one. They are not cheap, but I'm not going to buy another one. Try not to. So guys, this is the system and I'm trying to be very efficient, very economical. It's not, I can't buy one but is this guy is gonna be useless unless i'm trying to use it on the 12 volt now set up you know if i have someone buying it or i can sell it to somebody else that's fine but even that i don't want to sell it i just probably want to keep it for the 12 volts like my previous video i just talked about the 12 volt it's gonna be for that but if I end up buying the one that goes with the dual breaker right here, because there's no space, you can I can pop this thing. You cannot see any any uh, other slot I can make. If I try to move these guys here, it's gonna be a different story because it's not like designed for that application. This is the thing I'm talking about because it's set up for one breaker here, this big breaker. So there's no room to put a second one here like the other boxes that are really designed for that. Well, if I'm wrong, correct me because I can able to go here and push these breakers to the corner right here and maybe I can able to attach the second one here. You see where the hole is? There's another rod right here that goes through here. So maybe I can able to put one here, but if you see the design of this thing here, you know, is the plate is kind of bent here a little bit so that this one can go deeper. Or maybe if I install one here, it's going to pop really higher than this other one. It's going to look really uh, messy or ugly. So guys, this is what uh, I was thinking. I don't think I can able to fit one here because there's no way. It's not like, uh, um, um, how you call it? Um, a DIN rail. It's not a DIN rail. It's going to be a screw bolt and not because a heavy duty stuff is heavy. So I cannot fit it here. There's no way. I don't have room. So if I decide to put it here and thread it just like the other guys here, you know, here and move these breakers to this side and utilize this space here, I think I'm going to be fine. But I'm just going to be afraid this breaker is probably the other break I'm going to install is going to be sticking out from the panel here than this one here so it's gonna probably look ugly i don't want that but if that's the route i have to uh, take i just have to do that well let's 
watch this video and see how everything goes. Stay tuned, like, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.